Okay, so welcome back. We are going to be doing more math problems right now. We're reviewing for a quiz, and we call this the quiz of redemption because number one, you've been doing, you've been solving equations since literally, I want to say kindergarten, um, but really since like sixth grade. So you're really comfortable with solving equations. You just have to put it into practice. Yes, we do add variables into it and we, we see, does it make sense? And the often phrase, the phrase that I say often is because it works in number land, it should work in algebra land. Hopefully you understand why these two problems look exactly the same with the exception of this way. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to do over here is what? What should I do first if my job is to see to solve for X? Yes, I did. Thank you for telling me. Very good. Yeah, I'm going to go SADMEP on this. And for those of you who don't know what SADMEP is, SADMEP is PEMDAS backwards. So I'm going to copy this like this. And then I'm going to ask myself, do you see do you see subtraction or addition on this side so while you're waiting for this to show up right here do you see subtraction or addition on this side and all of you say yes i see but there's an invisible set of parentheses on that numerator so i'm going to draw that in so that it reminds you that i have to get rid of that five first that I have to get rid of this five first. Ms. Johnson, I don't see the parentheses. So if you were to subtract two right now, do you see how it's like being divided by five is like in the way? Divided by five is like in the way. Does everybody see that? Yeah, so the very first thing, so if you did this, if you subtracted two here, do you see how weird this looks? Do you see how two minus two doesn't cancel? Does everybody see that? Yeah, it doesn't make sense because like, hey, look, this two is stuck in a parentheses divided by five. Does that make sense? Yes, you have a question. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so I'm not going to be subtracting by two. So Ms. Johnson, what are you going to do? I'm going to undo this divided by five. I'm going to undo this divided by five. So how do I undo dividing by five? How do I undo divided by five? Very good. I'm going to multiply by five to both sides, multiply by five, and then I get three X plus two equals to 35. Three X plus two equals to 35. Very good. So now I'm going to sad map. I'm going to continue to sad map now that I'm inside my parentheses and I'm going to start all over again. So do you see subtraction or addition? Do you see subtraction or addition? Yeah, and you guys are like, yes, Ms. Johnson, I see adding two. So how do you undo adding two? I'm going to subtract by two. So on your test, I will tell you right now, it'll ask you, like, what's your justification for multiplying by five on both sides? So you can you guys tell me this? I forgot to ask you this. Um, why did we multiply by five on both sides? Yes, ma'am. Right, so in the equation itself, it, it shows that we're dividing by five. You gotta do the inverse to like cancel it out. So then what's the inverse of division multiplication? And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side to balance out the equation. Very good. So technically, I'm gonna write this down. You do not have to write it down like this. You could say exactly what she said, because what she said is way better than what I'm gonna write. So I'm gonna be technical about it. And it, this is technically called the multiplication property of equality. Now, if you don't want to write multiplication of property of equality, you're going to say exactly what she said. She said, Miss Johnson, the reason why we're multiplying by five on both sides is because we needed to inverse the dividing by five. Perfect. Done. If you want to know the mathematical name for that, that's called the multiplication property of equality. Let me explain the multiplication property of equality. You're multiplying in an equation. That's why it's called the multiplication property of equality. I love math for its names because it's named well, right? I love things that are named well. Like this, what I'm using right now is called a class notebook. It's a notebook for my class. It's actually a book for my notes for our class. You guys all get this? I know, right? I am using a computer screen. It's a screen 
for my computer. So it's named appropriately. Okay, fine. Let's test. Why did you subtract two from both sides? Why did you subtract two from both sides? You would all say what? I'm not going to choose you because I just, I know, I know, Ms. Johnson, but why? Someone say it in the chat. I'm going to say it mathematically. What do you think I'm going to write mathematically, by the way? What do you think I'm going to write mathematically? Come on, y'all. Very good. The numbers. No. Um, it's actually called the subtraction property of equality. Someone actually put in the chat addition property of equality. That is also true. And you're like, Miss Johnson, but we're adding, we're not adding, we're subtracting. Technically, you could say that you're adding a negative two, which would also cancel it out, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're adding a negative. So it's called the subtraction property. Maybe your classmate would have said something like this because we need to find the inverse of adding two. That's why we're subtracting two. Good. All right, let's move on. We're moving on, people. We're moving on. We get 3x is equal to 33. And then our final answer, oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. What would you do now? What would you do now? What would you do now? <laughs> get rid of the x. No, no, not get I'm rid not of the, the x. The 3, 3, yeah, sorry. Yes, sir. Sorry, so, my mind shut off for a second. Very good. Now, some people hear him and say, oh, just erase it, Miss Johnson. That's not what he means by getting rid of the three. Okay. Because if I could erase this three, then I'm going to erase a bunch of, a bunch of zeros. Uh, you're dude. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> okay. All right. So how are we going to get rid of this three, you can't erase it. You can't, you just can't erase it. What are you going to do? Very good. Someone says divide. We're going to divide Miss Johnson by what? What are we dividing by? Three. Very good. This is what he meant by um, get rid of the three. Get rid of, yeah, exactly. Because three is called our coefficient. Three is being multiplied by X. So how do we undo multiplication? We undo it by dividing. What do you think this property is called? If you had to name it. Division property of equality. Exactly. Mr. Jonathan, why is it called the division property of equality? Because you're dividing both sides of an equation. Do you see the dividing? Do you see equation property? Just means that it, it will work for all equations. It's true for all equations. Okay, so my final answer is dun, 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 x equals to 11. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to check my answer because this is again called the chapter of redemption. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So I'm going to take all this stuff. No, I don't want that stuff. Sorry. I want right here. Yeah. That's what I want. I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to move it up. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to pair it later. And then I'm going to solve this one. All right, guys. So now I'm going to do this one. Oh no, there's a Y. Let's run. No, don't run. It's the same thing. Okay. So here we go. I know it looks different, but it's, it's one of those things that I want you to pay attention to. So we got three X plus two Y equals divided by five equals to seven. So again, I'm going to highlight this X and I'm going to say, I want X to be by himself. I want X to be by himself. So again, I'm going to throw in these invisible. I had a student really sweet. She wouldn't say invisible. She'd say invisible, Miss Johnson, invisible. So cute, right? Right. Yes. Go ahead, hon. What would you do first? Uh oh, is she frozen? No. No, she's smiling. Go ahead. Oh, you're writing on my screen. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Yes, we have to multiply by five. <gasps> it, it's almost like it's called the property. I mean, sorry, the multiplication property, the equality. What? 
exact amount of, oh, she's going to just do this. Perfect. It's the same exact three words for all of them. Is it really? Okay, so you want me to copy and paste all of these? Great. So is no, that? The same exact last three words. Yes. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Hey, can you do that? Can you just subtract two Y on both sides? Can you just, can you just do that? Everyone say yes. Yes. Oh, there's a difference right there, though. 35 minus 2y isn't 33. Did you guys all see that? Yeah, 35 minus 2y is... I know this sounds weird, but it's 35 minus 2y. Right? Like, I, I know you guys want to put, like, 33y. No, it's not. It is not. So keep going. Keep it going. Let me space this out a tad. I think that's the way you should go. Yeah, like that. What's the last step? How do you get rid of this? Uh, yeah, but how? How did we get rid of it up here? Yes. I'm just, I'm just like drawing it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So things that she did well here. Look, people, she did divided by three. She didn't just do the part that she wanted to divide by three. She did that whole thing, whole thing. Um, I said this was the chapter of redemption. I didn't even check my answer. You should check your answers during the quiz. Um, I actually do want to um, check this answer here. I do want to do that. Okay. So any questions here? Any questions? I already know what she's going to get on the quiz because look, she just did it. No, no doubt in my mind right now. No doubt. I have a question. Yes, go for it. Will we need to learn all of these terms on the left side? For for this quiz? Yes. No. Okay. Will you have to explain what you did? Yes. Right? Um, but what did you do? I subtracted to, to inverse or to undo adding 2y. Does everybody see that? Yeah, it's not messy writing. Annotating on a computer is really hard. Yeah, right? I know, me too. Okay, so I'm going to write, so because she's annotating on Zoom, this it's not going to stay when I move my screen like this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy her answer just right here, just so we can have an answer. And then we're going to check our answer. X equals to 35 minus 2Y over 3. So I want to check my answer. I'm going to clear your screen real quick. Um, so I'm going to check this answer by plugging back into my original equation. Does everybody see that? So what does that mean, Ms. Johnson? First, I'm going to copy my equation, my original equation. Um, I'm going to leave some space for X. You'll see why. I'm going to put X in parentheses. So leave space with a parentheses right there. I couldn't say parentheses. Look, it's hard. Um, divided by five equals to seven. Um, by the way, you got to make it clear on the test. Now, remember, we're typing on the test. We're writing on the test. Um, you got to make it clear to me that this is the numerator, right? Remember, we talked about this earlier. All right, so then I'm going to literally copy and paste this thing. Um, it's my favorite to copy and paste using this technology. It makes me happy. I'm just going to stick it like this. You guys all see my technology there? Everybody okay with that? No worries. <clears throat> um, so then what we're really checking is, is this true? So the very first thing that I see is this is a lot of stuff. Does anybody see anything that we could do? <clears throat> Does anybody see anything that we could do? Yes. What can we, what can we get rid of? We can cancel like negative 2i, positive 2i. Not yet. Yeah. Eventually, yes, but not right now because something's happening. There's a. Bring the five over, multiply by both sides. Yeah. You don't have to. Does anybody see anything else that you can cancel out? The other fraction that's on the numerator area. What does that mean? 
So it would be 35 minus 2y over 3 in the, in the parentheses. But what do you want me to do with it? Cancel out the 3? Yeah, actually, that's exactly right. I can't touch this negative 2y because he's stuck inside this parenthesis. So then I say, oh, what can I do with this three? The three divided by three is one. Does everybody see three divided by three? If you do not see this as three divided by three, this is maybe one of the reasons why you get stuck on math problems. I see this as three divided by three. If you don't see it as three divided by three, get used to seeing him as three divided by three. Guys, what's three divided by three? Yeah, it's one. Very good. So everybody okay with the number one here? Okay, so now I now I see that I have no more parentheses, right? So I have um, 35 minus 2y plus 2y all over 5. I'm hoping that equals to 7. I hope. If it doesn't equal to 7, then I did something wrong. All right. Now, does anybody see anything that I could do? while I'm waiting for my computer to catch up to us. Anybody see anything that I could do? Yes, now I can cancel out the minus 2y plus 2y. Ms. Johnson, why couldn't I cancel it out before? Um, mathematically, you have to do multiplication before you do addition, right? That's the rule. We have to do multiplication before we do addition, whenever we're simplifying. So we're following the rules of not SADMEP, but PEMDAS. So Ms. Johnson, when do we use SADMEP versus PEMDAS? SADMEP is to solve. That's why the S's are there together to help you remember. SADMEP is used to solve. PEMDAS is used to simplify, to get the answer, right? Okay, so then I then I can um, get rid of these two. So minus two Y plus two Y, these are, this is zero. So I get 35 divided by five, and I hope that equals to seven. Does 35 divided by five, is that seven? Is that a true statement? Yes or no? Yeah, because this is a true statement, Miss Johnson, she's super happy um, because that's what a solution is. The definition of a solution is when you plug it in, it makes a true statement true statement if this said something like 35 divided by 5 and this side said 6 you did something wrong go find your mistake i've had students say oh this is wrong and then they write that and i'm like well then why didn't you fix it you need to fix your your wrongs right all right yes ma'am something i think i was really doing is i wanted to see if this right because i work five times seven and then I get 35, and this is 35, could I also use that method? That just work? Yeah, um, the only reason why I'd say no, I'm hesitant to say no, is because um, as a mathematician, you want to leave this equation as still as possible. What does that mean, Ms. Johnson? I only want to simplify one side. Later on, you'll have an equation, and there'll be variables like crazy on the left side and the right side, and it'll be all crazy. But because seven is seven and you know what seven is, try to get the left side to look like seven. Does that make sense? If it doesn't equal to seven, means you did something wrong, means you need to go back and fix your work. You did something wrong. Maybe you divided when you should have added first or vice versa. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. 